Mayor Klitschko, what is the situation in Kyiv right now? The uh, situation is strange. Uh, the Russian groups uh, make uh, attack to Kyiv and uh, <clears throat> they uh, <clears throat> non-stop uh, we listen to the explosion every hours uh, <clears throat> during last night, for last night, it's uh, last uh, four days. Uh, the people is very nervous and spent a lot of uh, time in bunkers. And uh, right now is so many uh, <clears throat> Groups, uh, diversion groups uh, in our city is right now is pretty strange. It's Russian diversion groups. How effective have the civilians who have taken up arms? How effective has that been in defending Kyiv? We never was so patriotic. Uh, I'm proud of our army. Uh, the, our Ukrainian army stayed front of one of the strongest armies in the war. But uh, our uh, soldiers is heroes. They uh, show great performance. And right now, so many thousands uh, of um, uh, civilians come in and uh, build civilian defense. Uh, people uh, take the weapons receive the weapons and ready to defend our homes, defend our families, defend our future and our country. And uh, I am very proud, it's, uh, really, sometime to see how people, patriotic, how people told we uh, doesn't have the army, uh, it's not interested how strong the Russian army, we ready to fight and ready to die for our home country, for our families, because it's our home. It's, uh, it's our future. And somebody want to come into our home and want to steal, steal our future from us. How, how long can Kyiv hold out? How long can, can you hold on to the city? Uh, I'm not ready to give you a clear answer. Answer. So long, so long time. If we still in life, Mr. Mayor, do you have a do you have a message to Vladimir Putin? We was in USSR. We don't want back to Russian Empire. We see our future as democratic, modern uh, European country. Is it? No discussion. It's our goal. We're fighting for that. We're fighting for our country. We're fighting for our dreams.